Benny's Wake Up Surprise. This is a character building story about thankfulness. And one thing we learn about thankfulness is it's being grateful for all things. It was springtime in Agape Land, and a wonderful day for Stevie and Nancy to visit. The flowers were blooming, the birds were building nests, and the sunbeams seemed to be saying, Wake up, everybody! Spring is here! Stevie and Nancy were walking barefoot in Bristly Brook when they heard some familiar voices. Sure enough, up in a little clearing were their friends Smuggles and Bouncer Rabbit talking with the Nzz family of bees. Oh, hi, Stevie. Hi, Nancy, said Smuggles. You're just in time. In time for what? asked Stevie. Bouncer thumped one rabbit foot excitedly. Don't you know, today's the day Benny Bear wakes up. He pointed to a little house just around the bend of the brook. He's been sleeping all winter long, said Papa Nzz. But we'll know he's up when the front door opens. Nancy's eyes sparkled with excitement. Let's give him a special surprise when he wakes up. They all agreed it was a wonderful idea. We should go home and make gifts for Benny, said Mama Nzz. Smuggles, Bouncer, and the Nzz family immediately started heading for home, but Stevie called them back. Wait, Nancy and I don't have anything for Benny. What can we give him? They all thought for a moment, and Smuggles came up with an idea. Why don't you give Benny a song? Good idea, Smuggle, said Nancy excitedly. And I think I know just the song, but we'll need all of you to help us with it. Okay, they all shouted. So right there and then Nancy taught them the song and each one learned a part. It sounded wonderful. After the practice, Smuggles, Bouncer, and the Nzz family went off to get their gifts for Benny. Later, they met Stevie and Nancy back at Bristly Brook, just around the corner from Benny's house. Everyone was excited about surprising their favorite bear friend with gifts and a great wake-up song. Benny's awake now, reported Papa Nzz. We saw his window open as we flew by. Oh, good, said Stevie. Let's take turns surprising Benny with our gifts. Papa Nzz, why don't you and your family visit Benny first, then after you, Bouncer, and then Smuggles. To top it off, we'll all go together and sing our new song. The Nzz family buzzed over to Benny's window and all together said, Surprise! Benny looked out and rubbed his eyes. He was still a little groggy and more than a little grumpy. We're so happy to see you, said Mama Nzz. We brought you some honey-toasted cookies. Yuck, he said, taking a little bite. These aren't sweet enough for me. With that, he closed the curtains and lay back down on his bed. Benny wasn't very nice, whispered Baby Nzz as the bees buzzed off. He didn't even thank us for coming, said Father Nzz sadly. Then Bouncer went and knocked on Benny's open door. Hey, Benny, he shouted. I made a surprise for you. Then he got up and came to the door, yawning and stretching. Bouncer greeted him with a smile. It's a 14-carat necklace, he said, handing his gift to Benny. You can even eat the carrots when you get hungry. Benny yawned again. Oh, I would never wear this, he said. A necklace would look silly on a bear. Bouncer waited. He thought Benny would at least thank him for visiting, but the little bear just shut his eyes and closed his door. Bouncer walked back to Stevie and Nancy with both ears drooping to the ground. Next, Smuggles brought his gift. Benny, I want to give you my most special bone, he said. It's my trombone. Oh, said Benny. And that's all he said. Not even a, it's nice, or thank you for coming by, just, oh, Smuggles sadly returned to his friends outside of Benny's house. They were all feeling quite sad. Benny will love our song, said Nancy, trying to cheer everyone up. Let's practice it one more time and then sing it to him. They started to rehearse, but it sounded awful. 
What happened? said Nancy. It sounded good earlier. They tried once again, but all they could make were flat and sour notes. Benny Bear heard the singing through his window. What is that awful noise? he said. He decided to find out. He put on his slippers, opened his door, and walked out into the sunshine. Quietly, he tiptoed through the bushes along the side of Bristly Brook until he came to the bend. Then he heard the sour sounding music again. He hid behind a bush and listened. Smuggles, Bouncer, and the Nzzz family explained to Stevie and Nancy that they were too upset to sing or play music. They said their friend Benny didn't like their gifts and never even thanked them for trying to surprise him. Benny sat behind the bush thinking. He realized how ungrateful he'd been and how he'd disappointed his friends. He got up and walked around the bend of the brook. Hi, he said somewhat shyly. Oh, it's Benny, said Stevie. I heard you out here, said Benny. I'm sorry that I made all of you sad. Your gifts were very nice and you really did surprise me. Then he looked down and added, I'm so grumpy when I just wake up. Would you forgive me for being unthankful? Stevie and Nancy looked at their agape land friends. Their sad faces didn't look as sad anymore. Why, sure, said Bouncer. We forgive you, said Smuggles. The Nzzz family all made happy buzzing sounds. And we have one more surprise for you, said Nancy. Ready, everybody? With smiles on their faces, they performed their song for Benny, and it sounded better than ever. shine above the wind sings songs the rain fills our cup so many gifts of love if you have a thankful heart thankful for everything then you'll know the happiness a thankful heart can bring you may have a little you may have much maybe you don't have a lot but you are rich Blessings you had. If you have a thankful heart, thankful for everything, then you'll know the happiness a thankful heart can bring. If you have a thankful heart, thankful for everything, then you'll know the happiness a thankful heart can bring. Benny clapped and gave them a standing ovation. His friends bowed and curtsied. Thank you for that great song. Now you must all come to my house for breakfast. Breakfast, they all exclaimed. It's much too late for that. It's almost dinner time. Well, I've been asleep all winter and I'm hungry, said Benny. Besides, I have some delicious honey toasted cookies to share. And 14 carrots if you're still hungry, added Bouncer. And a trombone to make music with if you want, said Smuggles. They all laughed. Thank you again for all your gifts, said Benny. I know I'll remember to be thankful from now on. Everyone had a wonderful time at Benny's house. Then that evening, all his friends had to go home and get to bed. They were tired. But wait, protested Benny. It's springtime, not bedtime. His friends just waved goodbye. This time, he would have to wait until they got up.
Kinsey, thank you, Kinsey.